One week and one day. That's all the time that's left until kickoff of the 2011 Alabama football season. But today is a very special day, too, for football fans because high school football is back in full force starting tonight. WVUA Sports Director Gary Harris joins me now with more. Gary, thank you very much for being with me today. My, I know you're busy. My, my pleasure, Dan. Yeah, we're running already like chickens with our heads cut off, just getting prepared for tonight. Yeah, you know, eight days until Alabama, but tonight is the debut of Football Friday, and, I, you know, I think I'm right on this. I'll I know I am. 14th season of wow. Football Friday because it started out when the station was actually over on Jug Factory Road was News Channel 49. A lot of people may not even remember that in 1998. Uh, the 14th season of West Alabama's high school football show, 30 minutes of highlights and analysis. It all gets uh, started tonight. We're excited about it. We're going to have highlights from 14 games, mm. I think, on the uh, on the docket. So we'll be out and we'll be running tonight and uh, looking forward to it. That's going to be a busy, busy, busy night, but I'm looking forward to it. I love high school football. Yeah, a lot of people do. All right, well, let's move on to the main event, Alabama football. What's been going on? I don't think this past week has been nearly, I hate to say distracting, but there were so many distractions the week before last. Are we kind of back on target now, or, or are we back practicing and uh, talking afterwards uh, with reporters and such and the coaches uh, about just about practice and not what's well, happening at Miami? Yeah, the, I think the Miami – things in the background, you know, big news in, in college football is the LSU situation. Yeah. But, but for Alabama, Danny, uh, they're ready to play. You know, the fans are ready. You're at that point in camp now where it's been going, you know, three weeks. You know, how much practice video can you show? You know, how many times can you talk about whether or not Deron Carter is going to be out there? You know, Todd's at practice right now, Todd Hoyer. Maybe Carter's out there today. If it is, I'll have that for you at five. But, you know, it, it's they're ready to play. I think everybody's ready for the game to be played. Next week, the good news is you get into a game week mode. So even though they haven't played yet, next week is just like the, the regular season because it kicks off. And that's going to be a lot more fun for everybody. From us, you know, for us as reporters to be able to start specifically reporting on the team getting ready for a game. As I said, the pl players are hot. They're tired. They're ready to hit somebody else. So, uh, yeah, it's, you know, there's not too much to report injury-wise. They're, they're in good shape. That's great. We're looking news. at some practice video right now. Um, you know, Deron Carter, as we said, as of yesterday, he was not out there. Uh, Todd Hoyer's at practice right now, so if he's out there today, we'll have it at five. But uh, all in all, everything's uh, on track. They open against Kent State, a team that they should, quite frankly, handle with ease. But then the week after that, they travel to State College to play Penn State. So it's pretty much here now. Huge road trip. It is. It is because I know Alabama handled them last year uh, rather easily, but that was at Bryant-Denny Stadium. Anytime you have to go to Happy Valley in front of 100 plus thousand fans there in blue and white. That's a tough place uh, It to is play. a tough place to play. And Penn State, uh, this is a big game for Penn State. They see this as an opportunity to get back on the national map. So that's a big game. I, you know, most people feel like Alabama can handle Penn State. I'm, I'm not so sure. We'll, you know, I, we'll, we'll see as we get closer to the game. But even if you know, the Tide weren't to win that game. The good news is it doesn't affect them in the SEC, and I do think they're going to win the SEC West and get to Atlanta. But, uh, you know, it's time to play. Absolutely it's time to play. And it's, it's also good, Gary. You mentioned the stuff that's going on with LSU. All that boiled up this week. The stuff that happened down at Miami, all that was last week. It seems like our house is clean. Yeah, nice and, and nice, like I said, nice and quiet here, and that's <laughs> right. a good thing. The LSU situation, uh, we're going to have that story for you tonight at 5 and 6. The uh, quarterback, Jordan Jefferson, arrest warrant has been issued for him. Mm. So that's not looking good for him, yeah. obviously. I do want to talk about some basketball news. We had great sure. news yesterday, Danny, for Alabama. Trevor Lacey ruled eligible to play his freshman year. Then today, some really bad news. Musa Gaye, the seven-foot junior college transfer at center, tore up his knee earlier this mm. week in a pickup game. He had uh, surgery on his ACL this morning. Dr. Lyle Kane performing that surgery. He is out indefinitely. And they start practice October the 15th. So uh. Uh, hopefully, though, you know, he'll recover quickly. Maybe he knows by January, so he'll be back. But uh, Musa Gaye, a talented seven-foot athletic center. They don't grow those on trees. No, you know, they don't. And uh, torn ACL. All right. Well, Gary, thank you very much. All right, Danny. Absolutely. You can catch Gary Harris and the rest of the WVUA sports team Saturday mornings at 8 on Crimson Tide kickoff during college football season. The new season of Crimson Tide kickoff starts September 3rd when Alabama takes on Kent State. You can only see that right here on WVUA.